Ready? <laughs> what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Nasty Feeding Fitness here. Today we are doing a Q&A with the boyfriend. The last time we filmed a Q&A together it was like maybe two years ago. Do you reckon it was the first video I was ever in? Or have we done one since I then? think it actually was. Mm. Nutty Nation, Grant, Grant, Nutty Nation. Now that we've all been introduced, please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy being nosy and us kind of sharing a little bit more about our lives. Mm -hmm. I also just want to say one thing before we get going. We both have just come back from a stag and me a hen do. So, you know, if the energy mm. and the voice may be a slightly bit off. Than normal. <laughs> Grant and I both wear whoop and Grant's recovery, 1% mm -hmm. yesterday, somehow I was in the green yeah. peak recovery zone. Mm. Um, that wasn't a whoop plug, but now that we're here, my link is down below if you want to get one month free and also a free week 4.0 but i wouldn't recommend taking one on a stag or a hindu absolutely it's not quite depressing. <laughs> yeah should we get straight into this let's do it if you want to get involved in the next one follow me on instagram because that is where all the questions get asked let's go do you or grant have a pre slash post run stretching routine can you share mm. it if not why not so yeah. our, we don't stretch we're terrible but we should do you track your period cycle at all and do you notice your training intensity changes so i don't track my cycle but i've always been very very regular like to the day i will i will know when i'm mm. about to come on do i notice training intensity changes no the only issue i ever have is just the day before or the first day of a bit of cramps but you still crack on you know? you just crack on i mean like obviously if i was in a lot of yeah, pain yeah. i would stop you know if this were before i man training i would absolutely not, not be going that. to the gym yeah. if i was in pain so to what extent is your relationship centered around shared interests versus your own that's a really good question i feel like there's a good mix of things that we both enjoy but also stuff that I have no interest in. Oh yeah. You do, and you have zero interest in what I do. 50% of our interests are shared. Yeah, at the start of our relationship, yeah. we probably had very little shared mm. interest because I think together yeah. we've kind of both got into- Doing a bit more sport, sports yeah. and stuff. See the cycling, I was had no interest in. I used to cycle a lot. Steph never had cycled, didn't own a bike. You also had no interest in running. No, And then. None. No, I, it was I the Gymshark 66 challenge where I managed to force Grant into doing a 5k run like I forced him literally. and then he took up running every single day for a year We literally so. fell out at the start of that didn't we? <laughs> we fully fell out so 50-50 Is it hard to find alone time in the relationship? Firstly no it's not hard to find alone time because we both have quite busy lives If she goes out for a run and a swim <laughs> like See that's, ya. that's basically call it five hours done <laughs> well it's just the swimming takes up so yeah, much time yeah because she's got water there and if i'm at, like in the office all day or out in meetings <laughs> yeah like steph won't see me so it's more like finding time to do things together exactly it? i'll be honest as well like i've been in relationships where i have craved alone time do you not craving alone time <laughs> no. in fact like we did spend the whole weekend apart yeah and by the end of it i was like i'm a squirrel yeah <laughs> that's a good place to be that is how did you find your mental health change since getting together? Mine has been a lot better. I just started in the health and fitness kind of, I hate using the word journey. It's terrible. <laughs> I basically put on a load of weight, had a really, really rough time with like family members being sick and it was rough and I got up to like 100 kilos. So just before I met Steph, I'd started getting in better shape yeah. and then meeting Steph who also is very active and in good shape meant that that kind of just got catapulted and then I think that made me feel way better. So for me, way better. It went that way. But either way, it's up. Yeah, it's up. Yeah, it's up. <laughs> um, for me, yeah. <laughs> I was good and now I'm good. <laughs> but but maybe it was more the fitness thing for me than the relationship. Do you know what I mean? Oh, you can have, it was Steph. Can I just say, if you want to know what Grant looked like before, no word of a lie, if anyone played Mario 64 yeah. on the Nintendo like years back, at yeah. the start of the game, you could distort um, Mario's face. Oh, I remember that. You, you could, could put, put it, it with a control. I remember that. <laughs> That's, to, oh. it's like, so what it is, is just like both if, your cheeks. If anyone remembers that, comment Mario. Also, if this video gets 12,000 likes, I'll release the photo, the fat Grant photo. Grant, I'm telling you right now. Yeah. Oh no, okay. No, you said it no, now, 14, you said it now. 14,000. No, you said it. 12,000 12, likes. Please like, please, 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 please like this video because I am, I cannot even explain. 
Put it this way, <laughs> my, my milkshake brought all the boys to the yard. How much do you spend on food in a week? Training hard must work up a fierce appetite. Don't want We don't really know, do we? It's so much. To put things into perspective, we went to the shop to get a couple of things for lunch and it was 30 quid. Yeah. Just, just, that was just for lunch. That was just for lunch. This isn't, that's not a brag, like we should no, be No, 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 this is... We should be way better and we have, to be honest, we have even started trying to go to like Lidl more. And, yeah, we went once. And, <laughs> Yeah, like genuinely, a it's a lot. Yeah, but girls gotta eat. Uh, also, you get so much free food. <laughs> I, I said this to Grant, yeah? if it wasn't for the fact that I work with my protein, because a be lot of, just think of how much more I eat, because yeah. I'm obviously adding that all the time in between meals as well. It's a lot, it's a lot. Have you always naturally been a great runner slash athlete? <sighs> Going back, so when I was at school, I was absolutely awful. If you've seen the video of the marathon, my dad really puts it very well. I was utterly useless. PE, be at the back. Yeah. I, well, that's even if I attended PE. Worst subject, I just hated it. But one thing I can say is that out of all the different training and exercises running, when I first gave that a go, I thought that wasn't too bad. I think you, you, you have a massive natural ability but you didn't have a big natural desire to want to do the thing. I had zero desire. Which is quite annoying for us I normal, know. average humans. <laughs> our mere, us mere mortals. Most people have the desire to want to do it. I just it had no desire. Just can't do it. But then I also thought I was yeah. shite. I think if Steph had, from a young age, got into a sport, probably running, I would say, and I'm not just being biased, I think you'd be elite. I think you'd be elite. Do you know that it kind of makes me feel some kind of way like oh what waste but then at the same yeah, time you didn't I want to think do it. to my you didn't want I to know, do it. had I tried maybe I would have enjoyed it yeah. but I never tried but whatever you decided or didn't decide to do got you to where you are now yeah and... maybe this is just to make myself feel better maybe it was all those 24 years of doing nothing that has actually made me better off now because there's no wear and tear <laughs> yeah you're you know? like you're like there's young... no wear and tear her recovery's ridiculous yeah. you are you're <laughs> like me when I was 21 like you hurt yourself you're like that's fine I'll go for a half marathon are you competitive yes <laughs> yeah yeah. To my detriment, because if I don't think I'll win or be very good, for so many years of my life, I didn't do things because I didn't think I'd be like one of the better ones, What, which is why I didn't do running. Not to out you, but I do also think you still have that element. Massively. Oh yeah, it's always going to be there, but you have to like fight it, right? I know, I'm, I'm constantly fighting yeah. that with you. Because yeah. I encourage Grant to do things, you but do. it's like he'll hold back because he's not the best. But that's yeah. the point, you yeah, don't yeah. start off good, you know? Yeah, I think that's definitely true. And yeah, I'm competitive. <laughs> and we're competitive with each other. Yeah. In a healthy way, There's... until she's like way too, like for example, it annoyed me, she beat my 5K PB the other day, like within a 16K interval run. I'm so angry now, I've got to get a 19. Did it anger you that the first K was also a warm up? All right, next question. <laughs> Um, if, <laughs> I'm keeping it. If it's not rude, what ethnicity mixes Grant? He is far too good looking for a white boy. <laughs> Mum's parents are from London and my dad's parents are from Yorkshire. Really exotic. Yeah. How did you feel after the marathon? What, like um, emotionally or physically? As in crossing the finish line, dun 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 yeah. dun dun. I How felt very accomplished. Yeah. I didn't think it would be a, an emotional experience, and I'm not saying it was emotional. Like I was, there was yes. there was no tears on the finish line. How but, many tissues? <laughs> this was the sweat, sweat. But I, I felt quite accomplished. It was yeah. quite. Why are your eyes getting glazy? <laughs> It's the hangover, mate. <laughs> yeah, I felt really good. I felt accomplished. And I was very proud of Steph. Aww. Like, really proud of Steph. She killed it. The overriding um, feeling that day. I thought you were say hunger. No. <laughs> hunger hunger's always there. I felt really loved. And yeah. I felt love for others. And yeah. I felt proud. It was Although, really cool. Straight after finishing, I felt cold. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> I, I did have to wait for two hours in, in the rain. But that was okay. Because actually, they don't know this, but... There was an ambulance kind of service thing. They took care of me so well because I had no phone or anything and I didn't know where to go. And so they took me in and they were so lovely. They just kept on feeding me. If you were like a real clickbait YouTuber, you could put like, I was in an ambulance after the- <laughs> That's good thinking. You've come a long way. Yeah. <laughs> Love, in capitals, you guys. What's your next adventure? Love you too. Next adventure is solo. 
You can't talk about your next adventure yet, can you? No, no, no. That's the next, next adventure. Ooh. Just in terms of in the near future. Yeah. I'm going away and so are you. What am I doing? I'm going to see a good mate of mine in Blackpool. And I'm going to Zurich. Actually, I only booked it like three days ago. So whilst Grant's in Blackpool, I'm off to Zurich. I'm going to meet up with my coach. We're going to hang out. We're going to get some training in. It's going to be a great time. And I will most definitely vlog and keep you up to date with the progress and the training. It'll be good fun. Be unreal. Who is more fitness? Does Grant always run and ride? Hmm. <laughs> I was definitely more fitness than Steph. How many years of training did oh, okay. you have before I even began? Way, up? like a decade? 10 years? Yeah. Who's training for 10 years before I even knew what a gym was? Steph hops in the gym for five minutes, looks like she's about to be a bikini model. Had they asked this question before I got into Ironman training, I would have said in general, you are yeah. more fitness than me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I actually now finally think I am fitness. I'm not yeah. I'm not even a gimmick now of fitness. I oh, am fitness. Look, Steph, you're so like happy-go-lucky. Obviously, you're a very fun person. I think that sometimes overshadows like the amount of work that Steph puts into training. I knew you would, but you've properly gone for it. So yeah, it's no joke, guys. Like she's really doing this. Off. Before, but before the Ironman training, oh, there'd be times where we'd be really good at the gym. Go three times a week, and then another time, yeah, not never. not even go. Not once, yeah. So it's been a full switch, a yeah. full switch up. But I've, I'm very proud of the the transformation I've made, actually. Yeah, you've smashed it. <laughs> it's really, been amazing. Any jealousy in the relationship? You seem very cool. I'm proper jealous of the amount that you can eat. I just don't have that feeling. Like maybe I'm just very fortunate, but I'm not jealous. I'm not a jealous person. Um, not in any way. In general, like if there's any trait I dislike more, it's jealousy. I, I just cannot stand that trait in a person. Mm, in general. In general, if someone succeeds and there's someone else that can't be happy for someone succeeding, like I just, I just mm. really dislike that. I'm going off on a tangent. But, but like in the relationship. In the relationship, there is absolutely no there jealousy. No there's jealousy. no reason to be jealous. We trust each other. If I was a jealous person, you'd be, you'd be a terrible person to be in a relationship with. Because Steph basically spends like, the time when she's not with me, Steph's around incredibly attractive, like men <laughs> and women constantly. So yeah, But there's luckily, nothing to be worried Luckily, about. I don't care. Long story short. No. What's one thing you know now that you wish you could tell your miniature selves? You go first to just do things, to give them a go. I held back so much when I was younger, just in fear of what other people would think. Even if it were <laughs> me getting an answer wrong in yeah. class, which is just so stupid, I wouldn't risk putting my hand up and getting the answer wrong. I just held back from yeah. trying things out. And so I would just go for it. Because you said that, I will say, do what you think is fun and what makes you happy, not what you think you should do because that's what others are doing and that's what you want to see other people seeing you do, if that makes sense. It does. <laughs> How did Grant learn Spanish so well? Porque mi novia es española. No hablo muy bien, estoy aprendiendo un poco. Estamos practicando una vez a la semana. Basically, when we go for a walk or when we're cooking, I'll just like ask Grant questions and get him to answer them in Spanish. And then every now and then I'll teach him some new vocab. Yeah. So, and he picks it up literally like a sponge. How do you say try. sponge in Spanish? Esponca. There you go. Practicing, yeah. I guess. Get yourself a Spanish partner <laughs> or whatever language you want to learn. <laughs> yeah. That would be my advice. What types of YouTube do you watch in your free time? Any <laughs> channel recommendations? We really watch completely different things. I am one of those people that will go on a tangent of like how a pencil's made. Like engin engineering videos, restoring camping. the oh, metal. I love that this guy like restores old toys they or don't old want to pans. Know. The only mm. things that we do watch together: food challenges and murder, murder investigations. Yeah. If you had to pick your favorite thing to watch on your own, what would that be? Automotive, like car stuff. <laughs> and then for me, it would be. I think you watch a lot of food. I do watch a lot of we food. We do that together, though. We both like those. But like Emma Chamberlain, Megan Grubb, like just. Just like, Who do you reckon we watch the most videos of? I, I think beard. It, I think Beard Meets Food. Because it's just easy. Shout oh, out and Adam. Eric. And Eric. Eric, yeah, Eric. Eric and Adam. What does Grant love about Steph? I promise I didn't write that myself. What I love about Steph is that you are willing to try things that scare you, which makes me want to do that. Your personality is very infectious. Um, so like to be around you is uplifting. People are drawn towards you. You're very happy, very smiley. You're very supportive of people. Um, and yeah, you're, you're a very good girlfriend. She makes cracking food. <laughs> also, she's got a really nice bum. <laughs> just, just 
Jesus. Oh, thank you. What's each other's worst habit? <laughs> Who wants to go first? <laughs> you go first. Well, I've got a habit of buying the same item of footwear or clothing multiple times. He will buy a cap and the next day he'll buy the same cap, but maybe in a slightly lighter shade. And then the day after he'll buy it in a slightly darker shade. <laughs> and the funniest thing is Grant will be like, oh, I needed that <laughs> whilst he's just bought another one. So Grant's How many caps I've got? Too many and too many trainers. Grant's worst habit is just buying trainers and caps. And caps, yeah. What's my worst habit? She's quite messy. <laughs> Very messy, actually. The problem is though, right, it's not even really because she's that messy, because actually Steph does most of the washing up and stuff like that. It's that you don't understand the amount of stuff we get sent. Mm. Like, to That's be, what problem to is, be yeah. a YouTuber, when you get successful, you get sent so many things, and like the boxes and boxes of stuff. That's not really a big bad habit. Um, most people get spreads or peanut butters or chocolate spreads or whatever, biscuit, you know the stuff. And you have it in your cupboard for a while because you want to have it in a sandwich every now and then. But Steph just eats it. Like once it's opened, it's gone in like two days. And I for maybe for two days won't want to have any. So I just never get to have any of that stuff. Time's up. Should we speed through some? Yeah. Would it have been an issue if Grant didn't ever want to be spoken about, shown on camera? I would have just carried on, but just not shown him. It would have been a bit of a shame because obviously you then have to leave out a lot of things that you do in your life, but it wouldn't have been like the biggest deal. It was obviously great that Grant, you know, wants to be involved and he's now actually very involved, like as in, Grant will go to the events that I'm invited to. He pretty much knows like 60% of the people that, you know, I'm quite close to, so. I'm, I'm not a massive fan of being on camera, but it's a fun world to be involved in. Yeah. If that makes sense. Do you feel pressure to keep up with Steph in terms of fitness, given, <laughs> given that she's a superhuman? No, no. I joke about being jealous, but I actually am very jealous of what you can do, <laughs> but I don't feel pressure to keep up. I tried to keep up once, when Steph started training for triathlon, I started also cycling in addition to the running and swimming. And my body just said, no. But like, I haven't quite got the recovery. To be one of these triathletes, like doing these distances, recovery is something it's people so don't, key. they underestimate it. Whether you're good at these, those, each yeah. individual thing is, is actually irrelevant if you can't recover quick so enough to, to then go and do that run the next day and the swim. What's funny is that the next question is how do you regenerate yourself when you have so much training? Honestly, there is nothing that I'm specifically doing to recover quickly. I really didn't know how I was gonna feel going into the Ironman training. Yeah. I was actually quite scared because I didn't know. I've never done this amount of volume, anything close to this amount of volume in my life. There's one thing you unintentionally do. I worked out, sticker Steph doesn't, I worked out Steph's protein intake. Oh. Steph has a very high protein intake <laughs> unintentionally because she eats a lot of uh, protein snacks because we get all my protein <laughs> stuff. So I think that definitely helps and you have made an effort to improve your sleep hygiene a lot better than it was. Yeah, put it this way, you know, my general is six and a half hours. Yeah. I think before this, I must have been sleeping maybe five. five like, yeah. do you remember how late we would go to bed? Yeah. Try to go to sleep at Early. a more consistent time. The eight hours a night, you can absolutely forget about it. I just yeah. don't think it's for everyone. No. I, my body has a cap and I wake up yeah. and that is it. Yeah. <laughs> Do you track your nutrition at all? No, I track nothing. Yeah. Grant does. How much I'm eating. Yeah. It's a lot of food. Yeah. Do you have any before and after pictures? You said you started at 24 years working out. Do you know what? I don't like to share these much because I genuinely don't think I've really changed that much. Basically, she used to look really sick with a great six pack. Now she looks really sick with a six pack and a bit more muscle. <laughs> yeah, there's just more muscle, but I've always had like Very the lean. frame that I have. Very and lean midsection, just... like abs always there. It's just genetically. Shoulder veins always there. Same with my mum, like my mum's got the shoulder veins. Her mum's got like cap delts. <laughs> I find it annoying to say, but genetics plays such a huge part in how you look. And for some people more than others, and I, mm -hmm. and I definitely think that yeah. a lot of how I look is down to that. And just like where my body deposits fat. It's like if a girl could tick boxes and say, okay, you've got to have fat somewhere, where do you want it? You've got to have muscle showing somewhere, where do you want it? They basically tick like what you No, have. some people would like boobs. There That's you go. True. I'm not blessed everywhere. I've got, I've <laughs> I've got, got no boobs. I've got bigger boobs than <laughs> Steph. How many grams of protein do you eat a day? I don't know. Grant said I eat a lot. 
Is Grant planning to open a restaurant? It would make the world a better place. <laughs> no. How are you so energetic all the time? I need that. You're way more energetic than the average person, but we also still have times of being lazy, don't we? Guys, we love an active lazy day. Yeah, we call them active lazy days. Generally a Sunday, We'll do like a ridiculous, a ride, a ridiculous and amount of break because by the end of the day you feel like you've been lazy but you forget yeah. in the morning. Yeah, that like, we've done a bike ride. We did like a four hour bike ride. When watching your YouTube videos, do you earn slash get more money when I watch the full ads? If so, I start doing it. I actually do. I'm going to put ad, ad in right now. Go and get yourself a cup of tea or a snack. <laughs> Tell us then... if you watched all the ads and thank you. Thank you. What's your favourite thing to do together slash for a date night? Sex. After. Oh, bowling. Bowling? And then, and food. Food. I love doing that. Like a nice Sunday roast. Yeah. Shuffle. Oh yeah. Does anyone know shuffleboard? Like, it's very... <laughs> what are we going no on about? Gets. It's great. Shuffleboard. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone know shuffleboarding? Shuffleboarding's great. How do you breathe when you run? Mouth or nose? Mouth. How do you balance your running and strength training? I don't. <laughs> I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna say it now on camera so that might make me do it. Do they even know I created like a commercial gym in my double garage <laughs> in this house. And what we've done is put all it's of the garage now. all of the stuff that we can't fit in the house is just in boxes now in the garage. So cool. So cool. So if anyone wants any gym equipment, I'm gonna I'll start you, training. Good Look at that. <laughs> smuggling in there. This is my before, and then I'll show them after <laughs> I've made a reappearance. Burgers or Yorkshire pudding? Burgers. That's so random. But why are they being compared? You, you could say like Yorkshire pudding or, or roast potato. Th that's what I was thinking. Mm. If that were the case, Yorkshire pudding, because I yeah, love a Yorkshire for pudding. For sure. Toblerone or Tony's? Toblerone for me. Tony's. Who is the morning person and who is the night owl? Steph. Night 100%, owl. Yeah. Morning person. Yeah. Steph morning, me, night owl. I've literally had a whole day before going <laughs> I could have done the full marathon, mm -hmm. come back, edited a video, had yep. breakfast, and Grant will just about be getting up. Yeah, and same as me in the night time. <laughs> Did you two run together at all during the marathon? No, you have to predict your race time. There's different waves because there's like 40, 50,000 people that do it. So Steph was in a quicker wave than me. So no, we couldn't. Can you do a video where Grant does your Ironman training for a day? Do you know, you could do it on a day that we cycled together because I would be cycling and yeah. then it would just be a run off the bike. That's true. Well, and probably a swim. Comment down below, Grant trains like Steph. Oh god, there's so many questions. There's a lot, isn't there? We there's could so keep going many. and then you could do part one and part two. Shall we? Yeah. Do you think... Please get this video to 12,000 likes because I really want to show you mm -hmm. what Grant looked like prior to us... Fat Grant. ...getting together. Yeah. He looked very different. Put it this way, I filled out my shirt. But oh, not, but man, not a, did he fill it out? <laughs> not, not, not in a good way. Thanks for answering all the questions. Can I go to bed now? Yeah, we just need to take a thumbnail. Bye! Adios. Grant calls me his little pea head. She's got a tiny little head. I don't know how there's anything in it. It's tiny. <laughs> oh, this is good. You've got loads there. Thanks, pubs. Love you. Love you.